Hey everybody, this is Bash from Thorn and Horn Farm. We got here a uh, caterpillar dozer. It's a uh, 7U for who's familiar with this. And we got our best mechanic here, John, with us. We have a problem here. We have a lot of problems in it. We did a lot of work on it. We rebuilt the starter motor and uh, we rebuilt the uh, injection drive. injection pump and the pinion drive there is a lot going on with it it's an antique and we don't want to spend too much money on it but we had a problem today with the track the track on this side loose we tried to adjust it from the adjuster nut here but it didn't it didn't want to move at all so we cheat your pipe yeah we used this pipe as a leverage <laughs> to break that nut and we couldn't do any better i wish we record that anyway so now uh, we it's find it's out it's that it's the people break. that huh it's, it just broke it's going to break yeah so we found out that the people before us they had the same problem so they put the spacer here to just uh, avoid the uh, tying this or loosen it so we decided to do the same and just add one more spacer in there the problem that we already start having is as you see the bolts here broke immediately so probably we're gonna have four of them broken in the end of this and uh, it's gonna be fun so stay tuned and uh, watch with us hopefully it will end in a good news Yeah, so the bad news that we gonna have to take the whole wheel off and try to get all those four bolts that broke in completely out and then replace them with the new bolts and get a little bit longer bolts than that one and yeah we're gonna have to add another spacer like this one here and it should be good place our faith in that block oh. <laughs> okay change plans so we decided not to pull the track and just take this part of the brackets here there is two parts as you see here one here and one the other side we're just gonna take those two bolts out pull this piece out and then jack with this part Better than taking the whole thing out. Hopefully it'll make it easier. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so we try to take it out, but 
the wheel, putting pressure on it. So we decided to do the camel on on the bucket in the front and put another. Uh, you're gonna run the camel on through yeah. the wheel. Yeah, the chain through the wheel. The chain, okay. So we're gonna run a chain through the wheel and pull it that way so it takes the pressure of the bracket here. Okay, so we got the track of the wheel, as you see, guys. So there is two bolts. Is it two bolts, John, on the bottom? Two on each side. Yes, two on each side on the bracket here. The guide bolt. The guide bolt. Can't see it. There is one here and one on the other side. Here. And there is two on the other side. Uh, I can't tell if I'm. Yeah, here it is. So. Uh, we're gonna have to cut them also and replace them they're already bent and in a bad shape so after we cut those bolts we should be able to just slide that wheel out right now all right
I was doing one to see the last little trick. Okay. Yeah, he sent me to get tools for him so he can get the last one without I see him. That's not nice of you, John. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. Send me anytime if you're gonna get the job done. Gonna come out like that. Let's do it again. <laughs> Send me anytime. Yeah, we got him. I mean, the big part is got taken care of. That's. important all right so now we're gonna order some parts well we're good for now and we will be back with you guys when we get the part that we order so what you think those John it's like uh, shocks some kind of shocks basically yeah so those toasted we need a new one Man, we'll get those and big valve springs and some rubber it's like that that's what they did mm-hmm Huge valve springs and rubber. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will be back with you in the part two. Hopefully, everything goes well. Until then, you guys take care. <laughs>